rise of Century City has been a remarkable phenomenon in the recent development of Cape Town. In the last decade alone, since the Rabi Property Group acquired all of the undeveloped land in this 250 hectare precinct, along with a basket of development rights for commercial, residential and retail land use, the number of residents and daily visitors has risen exponentially. With over 3,000 occupied homes and over 500 businesses now established in Century City. Naturally, this rapid growth has led to congestion in peak hours in some areas of Century City's road networks. This despite significant advances in public transport, in the form of a new railway station alongside Sable Road N1 intersection and the integration of Cape Town's My City bus system. The congestion, as this sophisticated traffic modeling software clearly shows, is most evident during the afternoon peak hour for vehicles leaving Century City, especially along the Sable Road exit at the southern boundary of the precinct. Typically, a fairly long queue of cars tends to build up along Century Boulevard, leading into the traffic circle near the Coliseum building. This is due to high traffic volumes and the inhibiting effects of the Century Boulevard and Rotanga Road intersection. The concerning aspect of this problem is that it will become significantly worse when all the new buildings are occupied in the rapidly growing Bridgeways precinct, where another five office blocks an international conference center, a 125-room hotel and 51 apartments are now under construction. This will add approximately 1,000 extra vehicles per day to the road network. If this additional traffic attempts to exit the new precinct via the traffic circle, the result will be gridlock in the Monday to Friday afternoon peak period. This extra traffic would also aggravate another problem in the vicinity. Traffic turning left into Ritanga Road in order to get from the Sable Road bridge onto the N1 would add to the long queue of cars stretching bumper to bumper all the way from the traffic lights at the western end of the intersection. The traffic constraint that is causing this tailback is the western ramp terminal of the Sable Road interchange where all northbound left turn vehicles must pass through the western ramp intersection, consuming valuable green time for through traffic along Sable Road. To solve these problems, Rabi and the Century City Property Owners Association have proposed an 18 million rand road upgrade that will prevent peak hour gridlock and greatly alleviate the Sable Road tailback. The first element of this solution is the creation of a new exit point from Century City, allowing traffic from the Bridgeways precinct to flow directly into Sable Road. This exit-only traffic gateway will immediately remove the gridlock situation that would be caused by vehicles trying to get onto Century Boulevard from the new precinct, significantly reducing the build-up of traffic entering the circle from the canal walk side. The new exit will free flow onto a continuous eastbound left turn lane, taking traffic directly onto the northbound service lanes of the N1. Drivers wanting to get onto the N1 southbound will have an extended length of roadway to merge into the adjacent lanes. This will in turn enable additional green time to be allocated to through traffic at the intersection. Secondly, the new lane structure leading onto the Sable Road Bridge will greatly reduce the tailback of vehicles approaching the western intersection of the bridge. In addition, the new lane structure will allow for a short section of Q-Jump Lane for My City feeder buses between the slip lane and the stop line. This lane will receive a special bus-only green phase on demand to provide bus priority for My City buses. The third major element of the upgrade will be the addition of a free-flow left turn lane for vehicles approaching Century City via the western terminal of the Sable Road intersection. This will prevent the current build-up of vehicles at the top of the Sable Road off-ramp, 
allowing an uninterrupted flow of vehicles from the N1 northbound out of Cape Town. This will in addition allow more green time for through traffic or right-turning vehicles. These measures, a sixth exit from Century City with a free flow left turn lane onto the N1 and a free flow left turn lane onto Sable Road from the N1, will have the effect of reducing the current average afternoon peak hour waiting time of 30.9 seconds per vehicle to just 14.6 seconds per vehicle, a saving of over 50%. With planning approval for these road upgrades having been granted by the City Council, work on the 18 million rand project will begin in March 2015, meaning that motorists both arriving at and leaving Century City may look forward to a far more free-flowing journey later in the year, and that businesses looking to move their premises to the prestige of Century City may do so in the confidence that the extremely convenient location of the precinct will not be compromised by significant traffic congestion during peak hours.